Nick Bosa now leads the NFL in sacks with 14 and a half, including the best kind of sack at the end of the game, which was the strip sack, Manscaped, promo code AM. Uh, he, you could, he smiled. Did you notice how much Nick was smiling early in the game and doing like, I think he felt like this guy cannot run away from me today. He was getting doubled unfazed. They just run a little stunt. He came flying up the gut and got the Tua. I, it felt like Bosa knew today coming into the game was going to be his day. He was an ass kicker. Uh, I mean, it was the end of the game sack was really sweet. I mean, the way the, the force fumble, the scoop, scoop and score right to Greenlaw, like the, that that play kind of encompassed their defense this season, right? They, they are very opportunistic, and they're very – when 97 is causing havoc, <clears throat> the Niners are just going to beat you because you're not getting away from them. And his ability to like – how about that just to hit his arm right as it's coming up? How often do you see that play? You know, another split second where his arm's moving, it's clear it's an incompletion. Did you but see the Max Duggan fumble that they called an incompletion in the TCU game on Saturday? He rolls right, he jumps, he throws. The dude jumps and basically like packs the ball in midair as he's trying to pull it back down, knocked it out. Was that kind of close to his own end zone? Yeah, yeah. They pick it up, return it. I thought for I thought they got it wrong. I thought it was a fumble six. They called it incompletion that game. But but if your arm's moving forward, even if you pack me. Right, but he stopped. Like he clearly stopped the throw. Oh, because he like, knew the guy was going to bat it down. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, different play. But oh, they didn't. They didn't give uh, K State the touchdown on that play. I was watching no. kind of up at the gym at the time. No, damn. So K State had to overcome that to win the they game. Had to overcome that, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you're right. That is an all. That is. It felt like early the Dolphins were really they weren't effective with Nick because Nick got his. But I thought like running both on that stunt to get him coming up the gut was great because if you just watch Nick, he was getting doubled like. They just weren't going to let him beat them, and he beat them anyway. He beat them anyway. Yeah. He's <clears> – I would say he's definitely – I thought it was going to be an uphill battle, I would say. I don't know why. It just – the narrative, the talking points, the talking heads. It's like, I don't know if he's going to win it. I, I do think he's firmly – and I, I wonder, Tom Brady, Thursday night football. Good call. I mean, if he's got a chance, Br Brock Purdy coming in – adds to his legend if you, if you go 20 sacks the best defense in the league and you win 11 games and you win the division with three different quarterbacks and he's your best player on defense and he has i'd i'd say if he gets to 19 doesn't it feel like it'd be hard for him to not win the award he because he does have some momentum it felt like micah parsons was ahead of him miles garrett that, that thing is just too toxic it doesn't feel like anyone's voting for the brand not no. miles fault but it doesn't feel like a Browns guy is winning an award this year. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, good point. I hadn't thought of that. Not again, My Miles. I watch him, especially with player. Bosa and especially with a Niners Cowboy out there. <laughs> yeah, who and their teams are sweet. Matthew so it might just be definitely not winning it. No, it might be a two horse race, and it's going to come down to the. Uh, I I think if he get a couple sacks in that Thursday night game <clears throat> with people watching, and they beat Seattle, you know, in a classic like. 20 to 14 kind of an uglier you know and he's kicking the shit out of now he's their tackles i think i haven't studied them but obviously they're playing with rookie tackles who are clearly pretty good right i mean good draft picks if you start two rookie tackles and your team's pretty solid but that's advantage nick going against rookie you know cross or whoever they put him up against yeah i'm just looking at the uh <clears throat> i also thought having 91 just back in the mix a little bit was a big difference. I mean, it's just seeing that body and the length and he almost had a sweet sack. You just barely missed him. Uh, I would imagine once he gets his legs literally under him uh, and gets, you know, because part of those injuries is not like I would imagine his cardio relative to what it was like in the summer. It's not the same. What are you you're not able to do stuff? Uh, I think it was that that's going to be really big to me for the Seattle game. Having having him around him staying healthy the rest of the season. <laughs> because now the Niners are basically assured. I mean, at worst case scenario, they're going to have the same record as Seattle going into that game, right? Because they have one game. They're eight and four. They're seven and five. So even if they were to lose the Bucks, and they're eight and five, and Seattle wins this week, and they're eight and five, you have the same record. And it would be basically be feel like it's for all the all the marbles. Seattle hosts the Panthers this week, so they're in pretty good shape. Fuck, that's a well. I, I, Carolina's been sneaky. 
Uh, the Niners, you hear the other thing on the Bosa point, the Niners Bucks game. I don't know if you'd caught the promo during the game today is the America's game of the week Fox game. 